So a few people have been asking me where Fido is. Where's Fido? Where's Fido been the past couple episodes? And he's fine before you jump to conclusions. It's just that about a week ago, my phone crashed. And so I've been using my old iPhone 5C, which really doesn't have enough RAM to power the app properly. So I'm getting really choppy, leggy footage and it's not safe to fly. So today I wandered around town, searched every shop in town and finally found a tablet that is now gonna fly Fido. And it might be nice having a huge screen to look at when I'm flying him. So right now I'm just gonna go get some lunch downtown and then we're gonna go hike out to, to that park there and do some landscape photography and some phyto flying. So this region is really well known for its truffles. So that's what I got. I got truffle pasta at that spot back there. And it was fantastic, like life changing, like one of the best pastas I've ever had in my entire life. No joke. If any of you guys are considering doing what I do or trying to do what I do, you really have to be committed to packing around a lot of gear by being a little Sherpa. Look at my back right now. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> Awkward, but it's a huge ass backpack. And that bag comes with me almost everywhere I go when I wander around. There's two DSLRs, four lenses, a drone, filters, a tripod, actually two tripods and a bunch of other accessories. So that's really the most difficult part of this is packing all this stuff around. It's a huge commitment. And yeah, there's a few ways around it, but at the end of the day, you're gonna have to pack around a giant backpack if you wanna be a travel photographer. So I made it to the spot that I thought was gonna be location number one, but it's super windy right now. So uh, there might be some cool landscape photos with the wind, but I don't know if I can fly Fido. It's just really windy. Maybe give it a try, see what happens. Yeah. So it's way, way, way too windy to fly. I'm hiding out in some like graffitied out shelter just to uh, just to film this without there being a ton of wind noise. Fido's still lagging a lot, a lot when I'm flying, like sometimes two, three seconds. And I'm guessing that maybe I just need to clear its cache or something like that. Something needs to happen because it's not fun flying when it's lagging and it's really hard to get usable footage when it's lagging like that. Uh, that being said, I don't regret buying the, the tablet. The tablet makes it so much easier to fly and so much easier to see what's going on. So really windy, probably shouldn't have flown it at all because it was kind of dangerous. It's so windy right now. But when it's windy, it's not great for drone footage, but it does make for some really dramatic photos sometimes. So I've got about an hour until the sun sets and I'm gonna make the most of it here. Let's do some shooting. So I'm not nearly as stoked on this location as I remember it. Yeah, there's some cool rocks to shoot up that way, but I think it's better up the shore a bit. So I'm gonna head that way and try that location.
Location two, we got waves, we got rocks, we got the sun coming down. I think this is gonna be fun as long as the clouds stick around. I'm gonna call it a night now. It was a really good afternoon. I really enjoyed just standing there and shooting images and just enjoying nature. I absolutely love that. That's my sanctuary. Out in nature, shooting images, it does not get better than that. I'm still here in Rovin for a couple more days. I've probably got one or two more locations I wanna shoot here around town. And then I might try to rent a car or a scooter one of these days and explore the countryside. So lots of fun to look forward to and I'll catch you guys there. Peace. So that was an absolute epic storm, absolutely epic that came out of nowhere. <laughs>